Today, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more of a heartfelt story. And so I really hope that you guys watch through this entire video and pay attention because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my story of how I went from a broke college dropout to making $150,000 right after my senior year uh, just by drawing lines on the computer. My name is Jason Hunt. I'm a professional AutoCAD trainer and I run the only land survey drafting program in the world. And I'm going to share with you guys today my story of how I recovered from a traumatic brain injury and started one of the most successful training and consulting companies in land surveying, AutoCAD, and freelancing. So a little backstory of where I was at the time. I've been a AutoCAD drafter since I was about 10 years old. I got into it young and I'd always had a fad fascination for drafting on the computer. I wanted to become an engineer and so I knew that that was a skill set that would translate well. Um, as studying for college as an engineer in my senior year, I had a very bad boating accident. Um, multiple concussions and a traumatic brain injury that really flipped my entire life upside down. And I ended up in honestly survival mode where I was uh, you know, just trying to recover. I could barely pay my rent, couldn't afford food. I was eating out of my school's food bank for a little while and I was just trying to survive. Um, and it was, a, it was a hard situation. I really couldn't do much about it. Um, you know, I was in a, a spot where no traditional job would hire me, not even part-time because I would wake up, I would be able to do a little bit of work and then I'd need to sleep after that um, you know, for only four hours of work. And so no real job would actually fit you know, my schedule at the time and I needed a way to eat. You know, I had no way to, to pay for it. Uh, this was one of the lowest points of my life, but you know, looking back at it, this was a moment that really changed everything. So um, you know, here's even a photo of me four months after my accident. I looked like shit, I was super skinny. I you know, wasn't eating, couldn't afford to eat and I was just trying to make do, but I discovered freelancing AutoCAD uh, at the time. I knew that I could take my CAD skills and make some money doing it. And this was when I really kind of went gung ho on the idea that I could actually make something work for myself. And so I would just start picking up projects here and there. I started networking a little bit, but you know, the, really the same thing kept happening, which was you know, the freelancing wasn't consistent at the time. I would get a project from a client, I would do the work for them, I would get paid and then I have to go find a whole nother client. So that wasn't congruent for what I had to do because I was surviving paycheck by paycheck you know, back to square one, a thousand dollar project at a time. And so I needed something more stable, but I just wasn't sure where I could find it. And the real breakthrough happened when I stumbled across a uh, surveyor out in Colorado. He ended up teaching me the entire surveying field. This guy was awesome. I would talk to him on the phone for like 12 hours a day. And what was crazy is that I never once met the guy. And I really do owe my life to him because he was able to get me out of that hole. He paid me very well for the work that I was doing. And I was able to learn this industry pretty much on my own. What was so funny is that he was a field guy and he had never really used CAD before, but he knew what the final paper had to look like. And so we would just be talking for hours on end and it took me a month to do my first survey. Um, but once I got the hang of it, I realized something that surveyors needed CAD drafting done on a regular basis. And so that was a huge game changer for me and it solved the biggest problem that I had at the time, which was how I was gonna survive and make money. And finally things started to turn around and I was able to open doors into something much bigger. So while working for him, I picked up another client. And so I had two licensed surveyors paying me at the time. Um, it was about $60,000 uh, each. So it was about $120,000 for that year. And that really dug me out of the hole, um, which was really fantastic. And I realized to myself, I was thinking, you know, if I can handle this much work, uh, you know, what's stopping me from scaling up? And so that's when I decided to turn my freelancing gig into a business. And so at first I hired a couple of my friends. That was a terrible mistake, by the way. I would pay them way too much and I ended up having way too many expenses in the business where it really didn't work. Um, and the whole thing pretty much fell apart. And I decided to myself, you know what, I'm going to make this business uh, you know, go away for now because I value my friendship a lot more at the time. And so what I learned was that I needed to start a new plan, which was gonna be hiring college students that were not my friends, engineering students, and then teaching them how to get into surveying. And so um, I realized like they already knew how to do CAD. How to do CAD. Um, and the big piece was, retention. I realized if I hired freshmen and sophomore, they're not getting apprenticeships or internships until they're, you know, juniors or seniors. And so I could potentially have them on and they can make good money on the side in college while at the same time building up their portfolio, which is really great for them in their early development years as far as career goes. And so I'd put up flyers around the campus, go into group chats, and I would basically market myself. And I got a couple people coming in uh, to do drafting. I, you know, would hire fast and I would fire even faster, but I ended up with a really good core group of guys. And within a year, I had about seven contractors working for me. And we did $150,000 in revenue on top of the money that I was already making on my own. And so I was really able to autom automate things where we were cranking out these drawings all the time. I would get a licensed surveyor and I'd find one person uh, as a, you know, contractor, essentially one of these uh, students to draft for me and they would do the work for them. And I would get paid, I'd pay them and everybody was happy. The licensed surveyors were happy. They got their jobs out way faster than ever. I was happy because I was making money and my employees, contractors were happy because 
they were also making money as well in a time where most normally couldn't. So here's what I learned along the way. Number one, uh, you have to niche down. By finding a weird avenue like this, you can end up making a lot of money because the money is inside of these niches. This gave me really good recurring clients. It allowed me to basically build from there and expand into a lot better opportunities along the way. Um, starting small is one of the biggest things I recommend for people starting businesses like this. Uh, it cost me $0 to create this business and it should be the same for you as well. A lot of people think they have to have a big idea, a product or something, and then get a bunch of investors to afford samples and then make something happen where they have to sell it. Don't do that. Digital services like drafting is one of the best ways to make money as a freelancer and is one of the best avenues to go into if you're trying to make money online. And don't be afraid to scale. Too many people start drafting for somebody as an individual. Uh, they you know, make some good money as a, as a freelancer, but they don't think that they can actually scale up. It's the easiest thing that you can do. You know, Going to colleges and finding somebody who would want to do this work as a contractor is a great way to start. And there's really no risk to it because worst case scenario, you waste a little bit of time, you end up getting the job done on your own, and then you go find another contractor. But eventually you're going to find somebody golden who can actually get the work done repeatedly. And you can have a system where you can kind of step back and now you're making passive income. So here's what I'm doing now. Um, these days I still do AutoCAD work. I might draft here and there for a couple licensed surveyors, just kind of as fun, or they're like a friend of mine that kind of needs some help. Um, but for the most part, my biggest ones are my training programs. And then all, as well, I also have an advertising business where I help companies uh, scale up with skilled talent. It's a lot cheaper than them uh, using a hiring agency and it's a lot more effective targeting than it is for something like Indeed. And that way people are just you know scrolling on their phone. They see an advertisement for a job offering. They can put in their application and get hired. But the real blueprint is really my programs. I've created something that I'm extremely proud of. Um, this is the only coaching program in the world that's specifically designed to help AutoCAD drafters go freelance. And so, um, you know, it's crazy to think about that there's nobody who's done this before, whether it be the surveying stuff, the freelance stuff. I really have the methodology to help people go from where they are right now to where they want to be. And it's fantastic to, you know, see other people follow a similar path to what I've done and, you know, without wasting years of them figuring it out. Um, so in the program, I teach everybody the basics of AutoCAD, advanced strategies for learning freelance clients, um, managing projects, building a stable income, and I really show them how to break into industries. And if they already have a field they know how to work in, that's great. They can go ahead and immediately start landing clients there. But for someone that doesn't have a field they know how to work in, I teach them land surveying, and that's where the land survey program uh, comes into place. So I'm giving people the confidence to go after these clients, work in these industries, and make money on their own terms. At the end of the day, I know what it feels like to be in a tough spot, and I really resonate with a lot of my students who feel like there's a bit of, you know, hopelessness in, uh, you know, what they're currently doing. They don't see any path or direction. And so I really hope that what I do gives enough uh, meaning as well as value to them, where they're able to see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel and maybe want to make that break for it and uh, really make a change in their life. And so that's what I love doing, and that's what I'm passionate about. And that's why I did this entire program. And I look back on my old self and, uh, you know, in reality, that's who I do it for. I do it for the old me. Um, and I see pictures of myself, you know, super, super scrawny and, and uh, you know, uh, in terrible health. And I just know that if I could look back and, and talk to him, um, I would tell him that everything, you know, turned out okay. So why am I sharing this? Well, if you've ever wanted to think about making extra money with CAD, um, I just want you to know that it's absolutely possible. Uh, you don't need a fancy degree, you don't need years of experience, and you don't need perfect circumstances, right? Honestly, the best circumstances are the most imperfect ones, and the best time to start is now. So if you're looking for an opportunity that you want to take advantage of, um, you can reach out to me. If you're stuck and you don't know where to start, don't worry. I've been there. Um, the important thing is that you can start small, focus on the basics, build from there, and you know if you, you can do it too, right? I was suffering from a traumatic brain injury that basically had my entire life down and out. You know, I had a degree that I was looking forward to and I was able to grow it in something much larger than I could have ever imagined working a normal nine to five job. So if you have questions and you want to chat about getting started, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube. But most importantly, if you're very interested right now, go ahead and book a call with me right down below. Um, but there's no pressure and I really appreciate you guys watching this and hearing my story. Thanks.